calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At our church, your past will never define your future. There's always redemption, which means there's always a brighter day. At our church, we don't think we're better than any other church out there. We're just doing our best to become our best. At our church, we want you to believe in God, but we also want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against people who don't attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that's pursuing us. At our church, we're learning to serve God with all our hearts and we're learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you're looking for the perfect church, we're not it. At our church, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At our church, we're part of a global community that's knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at our church, we believe that really happened too. At our church, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and the feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At our church, it's not really our church at all. It's His. And we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and His fame, not ours. So here's the invitation. You're invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and to experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to our church. Good evening. How's everyone doing? You doing all right? Amen. Let's stand our feet if we will in this place. And you might have to get a little exercise, but that's okay, right? So find someone that you haven't talked to yet and shake their hand. Even if you got to get out your seat or stretch your arm real long or whatever you got to do, just... Uh... <laughs> I see that brother Arvin. He's just loving on himself back there. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Let's just enter together in praise in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together in this place and honor the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Let's thank Him for all that He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. This is the day this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Come on, let's rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. This is the day, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Rejoice, yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Come on. Celebrate. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Yeah, rejoice in the Lord. We 
come to rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. One more time, can we just celebrate? Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to celebrate. Be yeah. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Rejoice in the Lord. Yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice here. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Come on, doesn't it feel great to praise him, amen? Doesn't it feel good after the day you've had just to come in and bless his name? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, we come to celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy. Yes, he's worthy. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Rejoice in the Lord. Let's just rejoice in Him. Rejoice in the Lord. We honor you. Rejoice. Lord, we bless and honor you in this place tonight, Lord. And we just thank you for the joy that we have in you, the peace and strength we have in you, Lord. Lord, tonight we just want to lift you up and say thank you. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah.
just continue to stay in this atmosphere tonight and as we do I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward tonight we're just going to continue to give how many of you know that giving is an aspect of worship as well amen it's not something where we interrupt service to go into it but it's just a continuation of honoring our Lord and King it's just a continuation of saying God here I am giving you what you've asked of me giving you what's due to you O Lord and tonight, we just want to ask you just to bless the Lord. It's one thing to bless the Lord with the raising of your hands in worship. It's another thing to bless the Lord by opening up your wallet and saying, God, here, I give it to you because it belongs to you, because all I have is because of you. And I just want to ask you tonight as you give, just give cheerfully. Don't give out of habit or routine, but give cheerfully. Just as this song says, it says, I will rejoice. Give rejoicingly tonight, amen. Give laughingly tonight, amen. Give with an excited heart tonight, amen. Lord, we just pray over this offering. We ask that you would just bless it tonight. And Lord, whatever it is that is given, we ask that you would multiply it and use it to impact the kingdom, Lord. Use it to make impact in this world, Lord, in this region, Lord. Lord, we're not just using it just to 
pay some bills and go through some motions, but Lord, we're using it to make impact in lives, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for what's going to come out of this offering we give tonight. Lord, we bless you and honor you. Let us give cheerfully unto you, Father. Give you what is due to you. We give you praise and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Give as you just sing this. There is a fountain. Just enter on in into his presence in a deeper level tonight. He is here. He is moving. And there's nothing that we have to do but just walk on in. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Worthy of our praise. Let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. Oh, come on, we just sing that out to him tonight. Let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. More of you, let there be less of me. More of you, of you. Of you. I am hungry. For Just let him know I am. I am hungry, thirsty. I'm desperate, Lord. Your 
We just thank you for tonight, Lord, for being in your presence and in your midst, Lord. Lord, how exciting to know that we can come in and rejoice in you. How exciting to know that there are rivers of living water that flow out of us, Lord, if we just allow them to flow. And Lord, we just thank you for the rivers, Lord, that are flowing down in this place, Father. Lord, I give you praise and honor tonight, Father. Let us just give ourselves away to you. And just lay it all at your feet, Lord. Touch the word as it forth, comes forth tonight and everything that is said, Lord. Let it touch hearts and minds and let lives be changed forever, Lord. Let my life be changed forever, Lord, tonight in this place. We give you glory and honor and praise, Jesus. You're worthy to receive it, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This evening, Pastor C.T. is going to come and bring forth the word. You just put your hands together for Pastor C.T. tonight. Excited as he brings forth the word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. God is so good. I'm excited tonight about God, aren't you? And, uh, I just thank him tonight for all of his blessings, his kindness, his goodness, and uh, that he bestows upon us every day. Somebody say every day. every day. The old song said, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love him more and more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, if you, and, and tonight, we just want to worship the Lord and... Uh, Tonight, I believe the Lord is asking us, what is your name? Who are you? Praise the Lord. Can I just confess and share with you as a young man in my early years that well, after I was saved that I didn't really know who I was because whenever I would, uh, uh, the, I, er, I'd get testimony time came around you know years ago it kind of it's kind of date me but years ago when testimony time come around uh, uh, I would uh, I'd kind of try to hide behind somebody because I knew the preacher was going to probably call on me and uh, I, and sister Hilda most of the time he did <laughs> and uh, and uh, I, I remember that uh, I was kind of afraid but 
as I grew in the Lord and realized who I was in Him, I didn't, wasn't afraid to stand up and give my testimony that I'm blood-bought, blood-washed, born again, filled with His Spirit, and His love abides in my heart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I knew who I am. I know who I am tonight. Praise God, and, and you should too, praise God. If you have your Bibles with you tonight, turn with me to Genesis chapter 32 and verse, I think we're going to start in verse 24, speaking about Jacob. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. Listen to this. Jacob was left alone, but here's a man that he's wrestling with till the break of day. And when he saw, now this is the man that was wrestling with him now. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. Somebody say out of joint. And as he wrestled with him, praise the Lord, glory to God. You know, sometimes we're going to have to go through some pain, amen? Praise the Lord. We're going to have to do something that we want God uh, to, to bless us. We're going to have to hold on a little bit longer. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to have to know who we are, that, we, uh, uh, that we're going to hold on to him until he blesses us, praise the Lord, or until he prevails. But look at uh, Jacob was Jacob was was holding on. He was he was prevailing against this man or angel or God, whoever he was wrestling with. Praise the Lord, and he said, "Let me go, for the day breaketh." And he said, "I will not let thee go except thou bless me." Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's determination. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. He's saying, I'm going to hold on. I might be in pain. I might be hurting. I might have a problem. Praise the Lord. But I'm still going to be focused on getting the blessing that I need for my life. I'm going to hold on, uh, praise the Lord. The world might be uh, in opposition against us, uh, but we're going to hold on until Jesus uh, blesses us and lifts us up and touches our life. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Can somebody say amen? And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. What's your name? He told him what his name was. Now listen to this. Hallelujah. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God, and with man hast prevailed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Do you love the Lord tonight? Say amen. amen. Praise God. You know, tonight he said to, uh, to Jacob, he said, what's your, what's your name? Praise the Lord. As he wrestled the angel, praise God. The Lord asked Jacob, what's your name? Praise the Lord. And Jacob answered and said to the angel, he said, "My name." He said, no longer your name will be called Jacob. You know why? Because of the meaning of of his name praise the Lord glory to God now we went to Ecuador and uh, uh, it, it seemed like uh, it kind of seemed strange to us whenever we went in and a young lady the year year a couple of years later that we come and and uh, she was having a child and when we when we got there the second time we, we asked her and, and I'm saying a year had passed or a year and a half or two years and, uh, and uh, she said, we asked what the baby's name is, was. And they said, we don't know yet. She didn't have no name. Two years old, didn't have a name. Praise God. Hallelujah. That, that seems strange to us. But she, they said, we want to give it, her the name because of its meaning. Praise God. 
But Jacob's name, praise God, meant deceiver. Somebody say deceiver. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But now he's changing his name, which means a prince with God. Israel. Hallelujah. A prince with God. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that when I came to an altar one night, praise the Lord, and knelt before the Lord, praise God, that I, he came to me and the old man had to leave. Somebody say praise the Lord. The old man had to take its flight, praise God, and a new man came on the inside, praise the Lord. You might say, well, he didn't change your name, but he did change my life. He did change my heart. He did change my soul. He did change my thinking. He did change my sight. He did change and give me the vision, glory to God, that I could serve him and let the Holy Spirit of God move in your life, in my heart. Praise the Lord. He's changed your life. Praise the Lord. And he's changed you. Praise the Lord. If you've ever asked him to come into your life, praise God. And you're now, you're not who you used to be, but you're a prince. You are a child of the king. I'm going to say, say preacher, do you have Bible for that? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hey, somebody but nudge your neighbor and say, hang, hang on. We're going on a ride. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is wanting us, uh, praise the Lord, uh, praise God to let the Holy Spirit of God. Listen, because you're having struggles, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you still can overcome. Jesus said, praise God, if you know who you are, if you're his child, he said that he would give you an overcoming spirit, an overcoming power. The Spirit of the Lord on the inside of you will help you to be an overcomer. Praise the Lord. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. That overcoming spirit is in your life. Praise God. And you've got to hold on. You've got to fight the fight. You've got to stay and let the Holy Spirit of God move in your life and in your heart. And God will stir your life. Praise the Lord. He wrestled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With him until the... Uh, up to the revelation of who he, he saw, not who others saw. Praise God, he, he was holding on till he saw not what others saw, but who he was. Now let me tell you, the devil will try to tra play tricks with your mind, and in the wee hours of the morning, the night you'll lay there and you'll, He'll bring things and thoughts to your mind and you'll say, well, am I really saved? Am I really a child of the king? Praise God. Let me tell you, the devil is a deceiver and a liar. Praise the Lord. And he'll try to put those thoughts into your life, into your mind and into your heart if you'll believe it. But praise God, if you know who you are, you can say to him, Satan, go back to the pits of hell from which you came because that's your destiny. Hallelujah to God. He's afraid of that place. Uh, he's afraid of that time. Uh, praise the Lord. But you and I can take a stand against him uh, and praise God overcome by the blood of the Lamb because who we are, a child, a man or woman of Christ, uh, letting the Holy Spirit of God move our lives and in our heart. Praise the Lord. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He did, pray, we've got to quit looking at how the world sees us, but we've got to look who, how Jesus perceives us. He don't praise the Lord. What does he see? He sees the blood that's been applied to our heart. We're, praise God, he don't see our faults. He don't see our shortcomings. Praise the Lord. That's why we come to him and worship him and Come to the altar and pray and pray in the night time before we go to bed and, and call upon him and ask him, Lord, help me. I'm not a perfect person, but I'm striving for that perfection. I'm striving for that time, praise the Lord, that when we could enter into the portals of glory and say, hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many. Can somebody say amen? 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just believe the Lord is wanting to move. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can, and, and let the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But God has a different plan for him. Hear this. You are not who others say you are. Why? Should they name you? Determine who you are before God. Let him determine the level of your success. Hallelujah. Let him determine the level of your success. Not others. Not the world. Praise God. So many people today are looking at the world and they're listening to the world. And, 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 and we've got to get back to listening to the Spirit. Praise God. Listen in Revelation. He said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Who is the church? You and me. We've got to let the Spirit listen to what thus saith the word of the Lord. Praise God and know who you are. Know that I'm a child of the King. I'm, I'm glad that I'm free. I'm glad that I'm, I have the joy. I'm glad that he put a spring in my step. I'm glad that I feel his anointing flowing through my heart every day, not just in church, uh, but every day as I walk the street uh, or drive the street, uh, praise God, in the car. Wherever I'm at, I can feel his anointing and his presence. Uh, glory to God, and I know who I am. I'm, ch I'm a child of the King. Do you love him tonight? Say amen. Hallelujah. You are more than your past. You are more than your past. What did Jesus say? He said that he'd taken our sins and cast them as far as the east is from the west. Not to be remembered against us anymore. Praise the Lord. All oh, the world might remember. Our relatives might remember. Our friends might remember. Satan will surely try to get you to remember. But if you know who you are, praise God, you can walk in that presence and that anointing and feel the Holy Ghost and the power of God moving you on to a destiny that only God has called you to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, you know, if you know who you are, you'll know the price that's been paid at Calvary. You know that Jesus paid it all. Praise God. You'll know that he's made the way. And praise God, the devil can't stop that way. He did. The first Adam fell. Adam fell in the garden. But Jesus didn't fail us. Praise the Lord. He's still making the way. He's still there for us to call upon. Praise the Lord. And he's still there to let us know that we're his child. That we are his child, blood bought, blood washed, born again, hallelujah to God, and letting the Holy Spirit of God lead us and guide us and direct us. Can somebody say amen? amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. Let me, let me tell you tonight, praise God. Go with me to 1 Peter chapter 2, and I believe it's verse 9. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you love the Lord? Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name forever. I feel the moving of the mulberry bush. Can somebody say amen? amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. First Peter, the second chapter. Verse 9. Let's start in verse 8. Or no, verse 9. It'd be fine. But... You are a chosen generation. Listen to this. You are a chosen generation. Listen to this. A royal priesthood. Now, how many times have you said to yourself or so, maybe said to somebody else, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing. You know, the devil wants you to believe that. But you are something tonight. You are of a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. You are a chosen generation. You know why? Because you chose him and he chose you. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Do you love him tonight? Say amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You, listen to this. A holy nation, a peculiar people. Praise God. The people can't figure you out. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. They've, you, I have worked with some men, and, and uh, uh, I heard one say uh, to, the, to another one as I was going by, uh, and uh, they didn't know, I, he didn't know I, I was com coming behind him, and he, they were talking about me, and I, I knew it. But this is what he, one of them said. He said, you can't make him mad. <laughs> you can't insult him. <laughs> Praise God. You know why? A soft answer turneth away wrath. Amen. Praise God. They know who you are. The world knows who you are. And you need to know who you are. And step up to the plate and say, look here. I know that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior and my Deliverer and my Overcomer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Praise the Lord. Praise a, 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 a peculiar people that you should not praise God. That you should, that you should show forth a, the praises of him that hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't have anything to praise him about. Yes, you do. You've been called out of that darkness into light. You've been called into that joy and peace. I'm a child of the King. Praise God. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the moving of God. Can somebody say amen? Praise the Lord. God is just wanting you and I to let the Holy Spirit of God move in our life and in our heart and let the Holy Spirit God, uh, touch us uh, and move in our life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look at that 10th verse. Which in times past were not a people but are now the people of God which had not ordained mercy but uh, obtained mercy but now have mer obtained mercy. Praise God. There's a time that we didn't have that mercy. We're a different people. Can somebody say amen? Praise the Lord. And not that mercy is renewed every morning. Thank God for that, aren't you? Praise the Lord. I'm glad that his mercy is renewed on me every morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I, glory to God. One of the writers said, This is the day the Lord hath made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. I know who I am. Amen. I'm going to rejoice in the day. Oh, preacher, but you don't know what a day I had. Let me tell you. If you in Jesus, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, like like Jacob, you might be hurting, you might be going through pain, but let me tell you, if you'll just hold on to Jesus, praise the Lord, and tell him, God, I need that blessing. God, I need that joy. God, I need that peace in my life. Let me tell you, our Heavenly Father will come to our rescue, and he will move in our life. Can somebody say amen? I was thinking today, I'm glad that I was born twice. I was born to the flesh, but then I was also born to the Spirit. And that last birth has the, been the joyous birth because I know that I'm a child of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. That joy and peace leaps in my heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It gets in my feet. It gets in my hands. It gets in my song. It gets in my speech. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the anointing of the Lord moves in our hearts if we would just let him. Praise the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. I want you to go with me to 1 John, the second chapter. 1 John, the second chapter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verses 13 and 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what he says. I write unto you because you have known him that is from the beginning. 
I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong and the world and the word of God abideth in you and you have overcame the wicked one have loved not love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man loveth the world the love of the father is not in him praise the Lord if you know who you are you will just love him and just let the Holy Spirit of God move young men young women Old men, old, uh, old women, praise the Lord. Middle-aged women, middle-aged men, praise God. Uh, hallelujah to God. We need to just focus on the Lord and just let the Lord move in our life. I know who I am. I know that he's my overcomer, that he's my deliverer. Can somebody say amen? amen. Praise the Lord. You can overcome. You can let the Holy Spirit of God move in your life. Praise the Lord. You can let the joy of the Lord move. Praise the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the head and not the tail. Somebody say the head and not the tail. Praise the Lord. Sister Pat, look up Deuteronomy 28. Read verses 13 and 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. So often we're, really, we're willing to just say, okay, world, do whatever you want to do. But let me tell you, we need to take a stand against the wiles of the enemy and begin to stand up and let the redeemed of the Lord say so and tell him that we are the children of God, blood bought, blood washed, born again. Hallelujah to God in the presence of God moving in our hearts and in our life. Praise his holy name. Can somebody say amen? Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. Praise God. Sister Pat, read that for us. Yes, 28. Amen. You're not, the, you're, not the, you're not the tail, but you're the head. Somebody say, I'm the head. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he's saying here, in the, he's saying, keep focused. Keep focused and keep your eyes focused on heaven. Keep focused on the promise. Keep focused that I'm saved. I know who I am. I'm a child of the king. I believe that God is my father and my deliverer and my overcomer. Greater is the joy of the Lord that's in me. Hallelujah to God. And I believe the Lord will move in our hearts and in our life. He will touch our lives if we will just let him move in our life. Praise the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. He's moving in our life and he's touching our hearts. And as soon as we know who we are in him, we'll be able to square back our shoulders and say, I'm in the army of God. I've been believing in him and I'm ready to take up the fight. I'm ready to hold on till he blesses me. I'm ready to take a stand until I... Till the, till the enemy knows who I am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, so many people today, you would ask them, do they know God? And they would, the majority would say, yes, I know God. But if you would ask them this question, does God know you? Does God know you? what would the answer be? I hope it would be yes. And they would say, I'm a child of the king. I believe in him and I trust him. Whosoever 
believeth in him shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. For God so loved the world. You don't hear it much anymore. When we were in Sunday school, they, our Sunday school teachers drilled that in us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Aren't you glad that you have that promise? Aren't you glad that you have that, that kind of a king that's, praise the Lord, that when we leave this life, we're just, praise the Lord, we're, we're going to just lay down and go to sleep and wake up in glory. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad tonight that I know who I am in Jesus? He's my healer. Praise the Lord. He's my healer. He's my blesser. He's Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Praise the Lord. And he's, he's yours as well if you know who you are in him. Just let him move and raise up a standard against the enemy and say, I believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, Pastor Jamie. I've given you what the Lord has laid on my heart tonight. Praise the Lord. And I believe that God is just calling the church, letting the church say, I'm going to say who I am. I'm going to say that I believe that he is the King of kings, that he is the Lord of lords, that he's my deliverer tonight. Can somebody say amen? Praise the Lord. I feel his presence. I feel his strength. I feel his anointing. Praise God. I don't, you might be have, going through very, trials. You might be going through cancer. You might be going through heartaches. You might be going through broken homes. You might be going through some obstacle that you think there's no way out. If you'll come turn to Jesus uh, and let him know that you believe in him, he will be your father. He'll be your deliverer. He'll be your overcomer. He'll be there to lift you up wherever you're at. If you'll just let him tonight. Let's everybody stand. If there's anybody here tonight that don't know him, we're going to ask you and encourage you to come and to find out who you are in Jesus. Say that I believe in him and I trust him. Praise the Lord. It's so easy that so many people miss the way. It's so simple. Just believe in him. Just let the Holy Spirit of God move in your heart and in your life. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My concern is in these last days, and I pray this prayer often, Lord, ever how much time you've got left for us, let me see somebody saved. Let me see somebody healed. Let me see somebody touched. Let me see somebody come to you that they might know who you are. That they can say whenever they see you coming through the sky, that's him. That's him whom I've long awaited. That's him. That's my father. I know him. <laughs> Praise God. We haven't never seen him, but I, when, we, when we do see him, we'll know him. Hallelujah. Because he'll say, child, enter into the joys of the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you love him tonight? Hallelujah. If there's anybody here tonight, don't, don't miss another moment to find out who you are. Just give your heart to Jesus, and you can be called brother and sister. You can be called the child of the king. You become the royal priesthood. You are somebody. Praise the Lord. Some Praise God. And you are, are, are Jesus loved you enough. You might say, well, you don't, pre preacher, they don't know what I've done. No, I don't. And I don't want, no, want to know what you've done. But I want to tell you this. Jesus knows what you've done, and he says that he'll forgive you for it. All you got to do is just simply ask. Just simply say yes. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. I want to be your child. I want to be a part of that royal priesthood. I want to walk in your presence. Hallelujah. As we sing tonight, if you'd come. 
know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. I am yours. I am yours. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. I am yours. I am yours. And you are mine. Jesus, you are mine. You are mine. Jesus, you are mine. I was running and you found me. I was blind. And you gave me sight. On, you put a song of praise in me. Yes. I was broken and you healed me. Healing. I was dying. Yes. Lord, you gave me life. Lord, you're my identity. And I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know who I am. I know who I am, I know who I am, I am yours, I am yours. 